All right, I'm going to open up and review this Bruce Bloitation book I just got in the mail. But before I do, got to check out this shot. I just learned this off of YouTube. I saw someone doing this, so I thought I'd try it in my own weird way. So it starts with what's called a scorpion wrap, and then we go stack a dark dragon wrap on top of that. Then we elbow spin, and neck spin, and then release it. <laughs> so I started martial arts in 1986 because of the Karate Kid. I was 14 years old at the time, so you can figure out my age. Um, and that year, uh, I was told to see The Last Dragon. That's where I saw Bruce Lee for the first time, because in that movie, uh, there are clips of Bruce Lee in The Big Boss, in Fist of Fury, and Enter the Dragon. No Return of the Dragon. So I was not old enough to watch a Bruce Lee movie. I was old enough to go to the video stores, that's what we had at the time, and rent them because I was, you know, 14, 15 years old. I was at this store called Zare, picture like a hybrid of Target and Kmart, and there was a video section, videotape section, and I saw this, and I didn't know any better. I was 14, 15 years old, and I was like, wow, can I please have this Bruce Lee movie? <laughs> you know? and, and so she, she got it for me, and, you know, I popped it in, very excited, the VCR, and it's not Bruce Lee, but the guy was good. So... It stars Wang Kin Lung. So good. I watched this thing over and over again. It actually raised my sparring game in karate class. I started in karate. And because I saw him just just so jacked and amped up and just doing all this, I got kind of like insanity. I started doing that in my sparring class and I wiped everyone out. <laughs> and my teacher had to tell me to calm down. <laughs> so anyway, uh, thanks, Wang Kin Lung. So... I wanted to uh, get his autograph on this, but there's a problem because he's coming, sorry, he's coming to Austin, Texas on April 18th for this uh, Enter the uh, Clones of Bruce Lee uh, showing. And he's coming to give a, a Q&A. And, uh, and I have two of these Bruce Boitation movies. Uh, and I was thinking I should have him autograph this. Uh, but there's a problem. There's a problem. Those of you diehards, you know what the problem is. Yes, this is a Bruce Lay L.E. movie. That's not him. I don't, I don't know who this is. It might be Kim Tai Chung. I can't really tell. I've seen this movie, but I don't know. I can't place it off the top of my head. Now, I like this so much, I thought I'd get another one. I saw him on the cover. I was like, oh, there's that guy. So I want to, I want to get this movie. Now, this is Bruce Lay. And I've seen this movie. I can't place what it is. But it is not Deadly Strike. Deadly Strike stars Bruce Lai, Ho Chung Dao. So I was like, wow, what do I have for him to autograph? Because this is not a picture of him, but it's his movie. This is a picture of him, but this is not his movie. So that's where our story will pick up later. Now, fast forward to the 90s. Got super into the Hong Kong Kung Fu and action films and started reading all kinds of magazines uh, for it. And I stumbled upon this, the Eastern Heroes. Uh, this, this is a, a, a kind of an essential guide. So... So it was just a magazine, but uh, this was an actual book that I was able to buy, and I read this thing cover to cover. So when I heard that this company, Eastern Heroes, made a book on Bruce Bloitation, I was like, oh, I am so getting that. So that is what this opening is all about. So let's open up this uh, book. Let's see, let's see what we got here. I got it in the mail uh, just, uh, just last night. I thought I was going to get it today, but it's actually last night. So let's do the grand opening, shall we? The unboxing, unwrapping, if you will, of this book. Oh, it's hardcover. Okay, I wasn't even expecting that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> nice. Hardcover. Eastern Heroes, Enter the Clones of Bruce. Oh, okay, an in-depth look at the Epic Seven Films documentary. Profiles of the Kingdom. All right, looking good. Now, I'm, I'm just going to scan through this really quickly because I don't want you to be able to screen cap this very much. I want you to buy this. This is worth the purchase. But look at all these movie posters and uh, write-ups and stuff. Ah, oh, this looks so good. This is a must-have. So there's all these great profiles of the various um, uh, actors that portray Bruce Lee. Um, and there's also great articles in there and actual, uh, actual film reviews of these movies without talking down about them and just more from its standpoint of what was cool about it and its sort of place in the canon of, uh, of Bruce Boycation. So really well thought out reviews that kind of 
give you uh, not just a synopsis and a review like, yeah, this sucks. You know, n none of that stuff, you know. Uh, otherwise, why make this, right? So in addition to that, there's uh, some interviews with uh, some behind the scenes people. Per my personal favorite is Bruce Lay. I, I know a lot of people are very into Bruce Lai. I love Bruce Lai, but Bruce Lay is my guy. And after reading some of the things, ah, oh, that as a as a martial artist, you know, you know that he really like. There's something I really connected with when I was watching him, as I mentioned in my story uh, when I first saw his movie. So uh, I can't recommend this enough. Get this. This is definitely a must-have.